Good evening, my name is Hal Slater and I have a geothermal water heater. And let's start. Well, first of all, water heating is 20% of all residential energy used in America. Now, there's basically two categories of water heaters and two fuel types. 90% of you have a water heater that has a natural gas or propane water heater and it's about 67% efficient. It burns about 300 therms a year, dumps about a half a ton of carbon dioxide into the air and it costs you about 450 to operate. Now if you're unfortunate enough to be in an all electric area, you've got a much worse problem. Your electric resistance water heater is about 92% efficient. It runs um, uh, a lot more efficient, but it's costing about uh, $1,200 a year for electricity in San Diego to heat it. Okay, and depending upon how that electricity is produced, it may produce up to 4,000, two tons of carbon dioxide a year if that was all coal fired. Fortunately, we're not. Both of these are popular because they're cheap, about $800 installed in either case. However, there are high efficiency options. Um, the first is the tankless, very popular. It's about 92%, 95% efficient. That means instead of using 300 therms a year, it uses about 200, costs about 300 bucks a year to operate, but they're a little bit on the pricey side to install about $3,000. Now the, one of the best kept secrets in America is the heat pump water heater. And the heat pump water heater works by using electricity just like a refrigerator, just like an air conditioner. It extracts heat from the air, so it literally cools the air surrounding it and pumps that heat into the water, and that's how it makes hot water. And it operates at an efficiency level of 250%. And that means that even in San Diego, that's down to about gas water heater pricing, 420 bucks a year, but they're a little on the pricey side, about $2,000 installed. That's average, you can get a good deal. But what I've done is gone a step further, and no, I'm awfully sorry, all of these things work great on a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stick my jump drive in here and here's what I got. Okay, what I've got is a geothermal water heater. It's a super efficient water heater. And what, the way it works is instead of extracting heat from the surrounding air, it extracts heat from the cold water you use in your home before you use it. And so, and so instead of flushing your toilet with 70 degree water, you're flushing your toilet with 60 degree water or 55 degree water, which is of no real consequence. But what that does, and it, it does that by using a water to water heat pump to extract the heat instead of an air to water heat pump. And the reason that it works is three factors. Number one, is a typical home uses three times as much cold water as hot water. Number two, in most of the country, the cold water is actually about 10 to 30 degrees warmer than it needs to be. And then number four, or three, is that water to water heat pumps are twice as efficient as air to water heat pumps. So, those are the factors that make it work. So what I did was got a grant from the California Energy Commission and sent it up to UCSD, Department of Mechanical Engineering, and the class of 2012 mechanical engineers, they took it and they put it through the ASHRAE test standard. Then I built three prototypes and I did off-the-shelf products. I took a, a regular heat pump water heater, can, but had them make it up with me, for me with water to water both sides, put the controls, put all kinds of thermometers and gauges and bells and whistles and tanks, and set it up into three homes. One, downtown San Diego, climate zone seven. One, El Cajon, climate zone 10. And one, Julian climb zone 14. 
and we ran it for a year. And they sent in weekly readings on how much water they used, how much energy they used and all. And so here's what we found out. We found out that in the laboratory, just off the shelf prototype product parts gave us a 2.14 energy factor, 214%. So with some optimization and, and, and all the university thinks we can get that up to 4.0. <laughs> in the home, we actually exceeded the in the home test standard for air to water heat pumps with what's called the overall delivery efficiency of averaging of about 1.37 compared to their 1.38. So we beat, I mean, excuse me, worth 1.38, they were 1.37. So we beat them by just a little bit. Oh, man, lost all the bars on this chart, but you can see the numbers, okay? <laughs> so here's the way we're looking at it, is that if you were to burn natural gas in a combined cycle generator, make electricity, send that electricity down the pike, you lose about two thirds of the power in that gas. But when you run it through a heat pump with an efficiency of 4.0, you actually get 1.32 times as much energy out of it, and that's assuming that all of the gas was used efficiently, which isn't a very good assumption. So, and cost comparison. How much do we cost to make compared to something else? And I got a, bit, a, a quote from Bradford White, one of the big three water heater manufacturers, that this system would cost about two to three hundred dollars more to make. From our experience installing it, we actually don't think it's going to be much at all. Fifty, and so, bottom line is this is a better way to heat water. It's got a lot, a lot of advantages, and my time is up. <laughs> but I do hope you vote for me.